I am Dr. Rekhi Sengupta Dharan, Senior Consultant at Madhukar Rainbow Hospital, Delhi. Uh, as you all know, uh, human papilloma virus infections are quite common, they are sexually transmitted. And why we all must know about them is because they cause cervical cancer in women. And cervical cancer is one of the cancers which happen to young women and a lot of times they are asymptomatic. Although uh, human papilloma virus uh, vaccines against HPV infection has been available for many years, Still, the utility is quite low, and one of the reasons is that a lot of myths are there associated with the vaccine. So, one of the myths that we want to talk about is that you know vaccines cannot be given in sexually active women. But the reality is that although the ideal age of administration is between nine and fourteen uh, years, I mean preferably the adolescent period, but they can be given in sexually active women also. Because HPV infection has many screens. The other myth that is often heard is that it cannot be given in boys. The newer HPV vaccine can be administered in boys because, along with cervical cancer, the vaccine gives protection against penile cancer, anal cancer, and uh, even some oropharyngeal cancers. Another myth that we often hear is that uh, it is associated with major side effects. But the reality is that uh, it's quite safe, and apart from some local effects, majorly HPV vaccines don't cause problems. The last uh, point that I want to make here is that uh, you know people often say that you don't need to do routine cervical cancer screening if you are uh, getting HPV vaccination, but you must go for your routine cervical cancer screening also along with HPV vaccination because. Uh, Cervical cancer may be caused by many different HPV strains, so you have an additional um, armor of protection. 